If you wanna make more money as a real estate agent when the market crashes, watch this video. Hey, what's up? It's Ricky Carruth. I'm headed to show a few condos to a referral from a past client. Okay, so I got in real estate in 2002. I was 20 years old. I made a million dollars by the time I'm 23. I lost every single dollar and some in the crash of the late 2000s. And today I'm gonna teach you everything that I learned through the crash and how you can make more money as a real estate agent when the market crashes by just doing a few simple things. So sit back, get comfortable, click subscribe, and let's ride. So what I said earlier is absolutely true. I lost a million dollars in the crash, but that was the greatest thing that ever happened to me. And here's why. I learned what to do when the market crash is. So what you have to do as a real estate agent is recognize the shift. And when it starts shifting, the buyers you are working with right now are probably going to go away and a new client is going to emerge. Somebody who's been waiting on this opportunity. And so what happens is most agents, when their buyers go away, they don't know what to do, they get scared and they get out of the business. But what the smart real estate agent does is he, he switches over and he starts cold calling or running ads or however you generate your leads and you start telling people, hey, the market is shifting, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna buy, sell, or hold? Because when the market's down, buyers that buy when it's down, they wanna buy and they wanna buy right now before it goes up. And the sellers have to sell right now because they're in trouble. So it creates so much urgency in the market, so many agents get out of the business and it leaves so much business for us. As the market crashes and all the agents who are gonna get out get out of the business, this is the time to eat up as much market share as you can. When you take the opportunity of a market crash to acquire more market share, which if you watch any of the other videos of mine, you'll know that my definition of market share is the percentage of lifelong real relationships with property owners in your market. And when you capitalize on the moment when there are so fewer realtors in the market and go out and maintain the relationships you already have and create new relationships during that time, when the market rebounds, you will be the number one agent in your area. This is how I did it. In 2005, our market started declining. That's when I got out of the business, started roofing houses and worked on an oil rig. I did that for three years. In 2008, I got back in real estate. This was at basically the bottom of the market. This is when I actually realized that relationships were far more valuable than transactions and that's when I realized that's what I needed to do. Create and maintain relationships forever with property owners in the area. So that's when I wanted my mission. 2008 is when I started. From there to 2014, six years it took me to get to 100 deals a year. So it doesn't happen overnight. It took me six years to figure it out, another six years to implement it to get where I wanted to be. The first thing you have to do is realize that the market is changing. This is a very interesting time right now in my market. Last month, we were down 20% in transactions month over month compared to last year. So that's a big difference, right? It's a different market than it was last year. We've had six years of growth, and now we have this year where we're down overall about 15% year over year in number of transactions. So prices are higher, but we have a lot less buyers in the market. So it's a different kind of market. You have to price the properties just right. Last year, you could price the properties five or 10% higher and still sell them. This year, you cannot. You have to price the property right on the money. So these are the kind of things you have to do as the market shifts. You have to adjust your game plan of how you price your listings, what you're saying to people, how you're handling yourself, and what your overall game plan is. So the first thing you have to do is 
pay attention and recognize when the market is shifting. Always be watching prices, always be watching number of transactions, always be watching the mood of the market, your buyers, what are they saying, so on and so forth. So anything can trigger a market to shift. The reason why so many agents have to get out of the market is because they don't pay attention to market shifting. They continue doing the same things over and over again, which doesn't work in a shifting market. You see, home buyers and investors who buy when the market's going up, they're not necessarily the ones buying when the market's going down. The people that buy when the market's going down aren't buying when the market's going up, so it's two different kinds of clients. Right? One is waiting for the market to crash, the other is buying when it's up, and then they get in trouble as it's coming down and they're the ones that have to sell or get in trouble or have to foreclose or short sell, so on and so forth. Another interesting fact is that the percentage of agents in any kind of crash goes down further than the percentage of transactions that go down, which means there's more transactions per agent of the agents that stay in the business during the crash. That means that you can make more money because you're closing more deals and you're acquiring more market share all at the same time. So you cannot lose. If the market's going up, sideways, down, it doesn't matter. If you pay attention to the shifts and you adjust your game plan accordingly, stay busy, stay talking to people, asking what you can do to help them. If you have the right intentions, if people know that you're pure, if people know that you're really there to help them, and you're focused on building your database to epic proportions, and you have a follow-up system to stay in touch with them for the rest of their life, maintaining your relevance in their life as their real estate agent, you are going to win. Click subscribe and hit the bell. We'll talk to you soon.